Hello, in this video what we're going to do is we're going to take these two D 3.5 Trinities and we're going to make one good one out of them. We get some parts for two. I got two complete parts with rotors, stators, sensor boards, and I'm going to build one with a high RPM rotor. Uh, it's going to be used in two-wheel drive buggy and a very slippery track, so we want to make one with very as little torque as we can. So first step up, I, I just uh, created a sheet to keep track of what's going on. Uh, we'll measure, first measure the stators. So I have this gadget here. It's uh, the motor measurement system complete, and it has a, a stator uh, ohm meter. It's tuned for the resistance of these stators. So first off, we'll just connect to the, the plate on the front. Find a good place where the connection stays. And we'll, we'll just measure one of the, the coils. So on a single coil, we'll call this one A, black stator 21.6. The B coil, 21.2 and the C coil 21.9 and this is in ohms. Um, I'm able to tell the two apart. I put a piece of green tape on this one so I don't get them mixed up. So just find a good place where that attaches. This will be coil A. Coil A. I'm just kind of measuring the coils as they're kind of marked on the, the end bell there. measure coil A 21.9 coil B 21.1 and coil C 21.2 Okay, next up, we're going to check the, the rotors. So this tool here has, an, has an, another attachment. Let's put this aside. That you can plug your rotor into it. So we'll turn it on. Our rotor measurement. Now, first off, we'll measure the purple rotor, and when I do these, I like to test to put a pinion on it, just so I can keep track of it a little better. If not, these are very strong magnets, I'll pull out of your hand. Okay, so we'll just set. So it's an RMS mode, rotor measurement. I use the pinion to kind of adjust. Minus 13.4, 13.39. So it looks like 13, negative 13.39 is the best I can do on the pro. Minus 1.339. Then we'll flip the rotor over in the holder. 13.44. And it looks like 13.44 is the magnet for the positive. So that's the purple. And then we have a blue rotor to check. Let's see what we got here. Just try that. Look like the best we have there is minus 1486. So you can see this is, has much more powerful magnets in it. 1500. 1500. Yep, so the blue rotor is much more powerful. So in our case, we want to build a, a low torque, 
high RPM version. So we're not going to use the blue, we're going to use the purple. So that'll, we've chosen the purple, I guess, for our needs. So what we'll do is we'll turn this off, remove this from the view. So what we want to do next is to measure, so we kind of know which between those two stators, it looks like the green stator is a little bit better in this test, so we'll build it with the green stator. Uh, I do have a front that I've chosen to put on it. Now we got the screws and such. But we want to measure between these two sensor boards. I want to put a little red dot on so we can keep track of it and one there's no dot on it. So what we'll do is we'll build the motor first with the red dot and then we'll test it on the motor analyzer. Now, the tool that we're going to use for the measurement on the sensor board is we have one of these one of these motor analyzers. Sky RC1. What you do with this is you put in this the sensor plug. Sensor in there. And now you just connect on the back. Very faint for the camera but I can see this A, B, C. And I have the colors here. C is the blue, B is the orange, A is the yellow. In this case, it would go A. Put on the C, which is the blue. And we'll put on the A. Okay. So let's give it a motor timing test. Now, I'm not so interested in the timing, but I am interested in the phases. So we'll call phase A, B, and C. I'm just writing down, and it says 32, 35, 32. So in this case, the, the sensor on phase B is out compared to the other two. The other two seem to be very good. The one on B is 3 degrees out. So we're just going to check. So that was my red dot um, sensor. So let's take it apart again. The bearing in this, this one sounds very bad. So I don't know if that's worth even using. There's a slight amount of play in there, but the, the noise in that bearing is awful. I think we're going to go with that other sensor board for sure. Although, let's test it. At the very least, let's test it. And then we'll switch back. So let's see if this bit bearing is better. Because what we can do is replace bearings easy enough. Okay, so blue on the C. Yellow on the A, and orange on the B. Okay, so let's just try another timing test. So let's just write down its poles. Its average is 32 degrees. In this case, it's phase A is 29. 34, 32. So in this case, we have it between 29 and 34. It's 5 degrees out on the sensor board. So in this case, uh, the first one that we tested, this red one, is the better of the two. So let's put that together, and then that will be the best motor that we could make out of the parts that we have. So, A is the yellow, C 
see the blue, and B is the orange. Let's do another timing test. Okay, so in this case, I think we, let's just see if our sensor board holds true, 32, 32, 36, which is similar to what we had before. Let's do a little KV test. Now we're only drawing 1.2 amp. It's only set to 30 degrees timing, so it's not drawing a lot of current. Uh, the volt, 7.9, KV 23.2, RPM 1800. So I think we'll leave it at that and end the video. Thanks for watching.